as you were talking to some of those rescuers, I was very busy talking with folks about the suspect. Amor Fatui remains behind bars in Midland where he has been spending, he will be spending 23 hours a day in a cell. One of the big questions remains why this attack took place in Flint. I spoke with some seasoned criminal profilers to get some answers about what goes on in the mind of a terrorist. You know, who really knows what's inside the mind uh, of these people? We sat down with former FBI agent Ned Timmons to understand why Fatui made the choices he made, like why he left New York and chose the Flint area to carry out the attack. Maybe they felt it was a softer target. Maybe there, w there wasn't so much law enforcement presence. Uh, if you pull into DTW, the, the airport police have five, six cars all the time in front of the drop-off area. You know, I would be surprised if that he picked Flint, you know, when he, that's, that's where I'm going to be, you know, that was his ultimate goal. It could have been, he's reading stories about the Flint water crisis, who knows. We have learned Fatui did try to purchase a gun within the past five days in the Flint area and was denied. So then he chose a knife. It's not easy to get bomb making material. And, you know, may, maybe this was his problem. He couldn't, he couldn't get access to it. Police were seen early today at the apartment building in Montreal where Fatui lived. Law enforcement will now look at everything from where he's traveled and who he's talked to. I think what we'll find over the next couple of days through his internet activity, was he radicalized by ISIS? That's, that's the question. It's, it's going to take weeks or months to put this guy back together. To figure out what his goal was, which Timmons says was not finished. But he asked the police officer why he didn't kill me. And I think he, he planned to die there. When they plan to die, it's very difficult to fend them off. Fatui, a truck driver with three children from Canada, originally from Tunisia, will be in court on June 28th.